everybody, Zeus here, and I'm bringing you another flight sim. This time we are sitting on the runway at Culpeper Regional Airport in Western Virginia, which is close to where I live at. And we're in a Cessna 172 sitting at the runway, and I probably shouldn't be doing this, but I didn't start off on the ramp. So today we're going to be discussing what is the minimal hardware for X-Plane 11. Now, let me go over my specs. I am running an AMD 6300 processor. It's their FX series. It's 6 core. Its max speed is 3.5, but it will turbo to 3.9. And I have a GTX 750 Ti, 2 GB worth of VRAM in it and I'm running 8 gigs of RAM. Now, for all intents and purposes, this is a very low spec machine. But, if you look at the top left corner of the screen, you'll see the frame counter. Currently sitting on the runway, the plane not running at all, we're getting about 27 frames per second. So, now, I'm running X-Plane 11, public beta, version 6, alongside the HD Mesh version 3 high definition add-on scenery with all the OSM data. So I'm running scenery that's of higher resolution than stock scenery and with more information. Now let's go into my settings. As you can see I'm running my sim with maximum visual set FX, the texture quality is set for maximum, no compression, anti-aliasing is set to FXAA, I am not drawing shadows, I am using V-Sync, I'm allowing the windshield effects, I am running my number of world objects on high, my reflection detail at minimum, I'm drawing parked aircraft. Now, if this looks a little different than what it looks like on your computer, it's probably because I'm running Linux. I'm running Ubuntu 16.04. So, let's go ahead and take off, fire the plane up, we'll take off, fly around a little bit, and see how it performs. Now, let's go ahead and turn our beacon on. We're going to turn our master on. I want to go ahead and advance that, turn our fuel pump on, so we got some fuel flow, needle move, pull it out, turn the fuel pump off, take my throttle here, advance the throttle a quarter inch in, and give it a start. <laughs> started. Let's go ahead and turn the avionics on. Let's turn the taxi light on, nav light strobe. And so now we're sitting on the runway. We're at 24 frames a second. And when we look back, sometimes the frames will drop. So and it really depends on how fast you move your mouse around. Like I'm using mouse look and everything like that. So, yeah, let's, all right, let's go ahead and take the brakes off, and let's go ahead and get in line. Oops. Still getting about 24 frames per second. Sometimes it gets up to 30, depending on what we're looking at. And sometimes it's less, depending on what we're looking at. Just go ahead and 
take a westerly turn here and we'll fly towards the Blue Ridge Mountains. Still getting right around 24 frames a second, so and the game is completely playable. I'm not gonna get into argument of 60 frames a second, 30 frames a second, 120 frames a second, whatever. But if you're flying on a low-end machine, you're gonna take as many frames as you can get. So really that argument really doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna get back off the throttle here. Turn the autopilot on. Set my heading bug real quick so I can talk instead of fly. So autopilot altitude heading. There we go. Okay. So as you can see, autopilot on. We're heading west. We have scenery. We have the HD mesh. Everything's maxed out except for the anti alias, and we're still getting 24 frames a second. That's completely playable. So, in my opinion, if you are having problems running an X-Plane on a low-end machine, such as this one, you can really mitigate that by either switching your OS to Linux, which I run Linux anyways because I do a lot of web development as my primary OS. I had tried this, I did try this on Windows 10, and the performance, because Windows 10 runs so much in the background, so many processes are running in the background on Windows, just to have Windows running. Uh, when I switched over and just started stri running straight Linux, I saw an impressive performance gain. So, you have two options. If you're running on a low-end machine, you can switch to Linux, or any form of Linux, preferably Ubuntu, 16.04 of Linux Mint, which really don't, which have no problems at all on the next plane running. I don't know about Fedora or Arch Linux, but you can either switch to this as your primary OS or dual boot it alongside Windows and run Linux from Windows. Now, if you have, like I have all the world scenery on my hard drive, so it's like 80 gigs of scenery. I'm running this from a hard drive while my OS sits on my solid street drive, which is 250 gigs. But um, now I only have the HD mesh for the United States, so I don't have it for the world. Um, as far as performance, I could probably get better frame rates right now, but I'm recording and OBS with this poorly optimized code is running, is using about 32.9% of my CPU. So, take that off, probably got a lot better frames with that. So, just a quick tip on, you know, what I run and what I record with, uh, what kind of performance I get, and what kind of hardware I'm using. So, thanks for watching.